Imagine being excited that you are pregnant only to find out that the baby isn't in your womb. What does that even mean and why is it dangerous? In today's video, we're going to be learning more about ectopic pregnancy. Let's get started. Ectopic pregnancy is a pregnancy that happens outside of the uterus and it usually occurs when a fertilized egg implants in a location that do not support its growth. Pregnancy cannot continue if they are ectopic because only the uterus is meant to carry a baby. Ectopic pregnancy isn't so common. It occurs in about 2% of all pregnancies. The most common site that ectopic pregnancy can occur is the fallopian tube. Now the fallopian tube is that portion that usually connects the ovaries to the uterus. Although ectopic pregnancy can also occur in other sites, but it is usually rare. Other rare sites that ectopic pregnancy can occur in include the ovaries, the abdominal cavity, and sometimes even the cervix. In most cases, conditions that usually slows down or block the movement of the fertilized egg down the fallopian tube would result in an ectopic pregnancy. And some of the risk factors include a previous history of an ectopic pregnancy. So if you had had an ectopic pregnancy before, there's a likelihood or even a higher chance that there might be a recurrence. Number two is a previous history of pelvic inflammatory disease. We also have sexually transmitted infection such as chlamydia, gonorrhea, use of some certain types of birth control such as IUD, smoking. If you have undergone a tuber surgery before such as tuber ligation, all of these are risk factors for having an ectopic pregnancy. But here is the thing, ectopic pregnancy can still occur without any of this risk factor. That is why it is very important to start your antenatal care early once you notice you are pregnant or once you confirm that your pregnancy test was positive, you need to start your antenatal care. The symptoms of ectopic pregnancy can be a bit confusing and this is because it can mimic a miscarriage. However, here are some of the symptoms that you can look out for. Vagina bleeding, a severe lower abdominal pain that is usually one-sided and then dizziness and tiredness. One of the commonest complications of an ectopic pregnancy is a ruptured ectopic pregnancy and here are some of the symptoms that you might present with if the pregnancy ruptures. This include lower blood pressure, what is known as hypotension, fainting spares, and sometimes you may have shoulder tip pain. So all of this could be a pointer that this ectopic pregnancy might have ruptured. Ectopic pregnancy is confirmed using an ultrasound scan as well as a blood test to check for the level of HCG, that is the human chorionic gonadotropin hormone. Some of the treatment options available for an ectopic pregnancy include medical treatment and a surgical treatment. For the medical treatment, we have the use of a drug known as methotrexate. Now, what this drug does is to simply stop the growth of the fertilized egg if caught early thereby preventing or ending the pregnancy then for the surgical treatment we'll have two options basically for now which is the sapingectomy and the sapigostomy sapigostomy simply means removal of the ectopic pregnancy leaving behind the fallopian tube while sapingectomy means removal of the ectopic pregnancy and the fallopian tubes A common complication of an ectopic pregnancy, like I said earlier on, is a ruptured ectopic pregnancy. And this is an emergency because it is usually life-threatening. It can result in severe bleeding, infection, and eventually death, if not attended to appropriately. So if you have any of these symptoms, do well to present in the hospital as soon as possible. An ectopic pregnancy cannot be prevented 
However, you can reduce the chances of having it. And this is done simply by having a good lifestyle habit. Firstly, avoid smoking. Secondly, prevent sexually transmitted infection. If you must have sex, use a protection method. Number three is appropriately treat any form of a pelvic inflammatory disease or any form of an infection. All this can help reduce the chances of an atopic pregnancy. Most people with a past history of an atopic pregnancy can actually have successful future pregnancy. However, there's a chance of reoccurrence if you have had previous atopic pregnancy. So what you need to simply do is to check out with your consultant. You should talk to your doctor for future pregnancies after being treated for an atopic pregnancy. Pregnancy can occur a few weeks after having an atopic pregnancy. However, it is best to wait for at least three months before taking in again or before getting pregnant again. And this is because the fallopian tube needs time to heal as well as to prevent chances of reoccurrence. In conclusion, atopic pregnancy is serious. However, awareness saves life. If you are pregnant or you are planning to be, it is crucial for you to talk to your doctor. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I believe that you have learned something new today. If you actually did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe if you haven't, and you can also share this video to anyone you think might need it. Thank you so much for watching once again, and see you in my next video.